professional resume writers might come for me for this, but who cares? I am one of them. You are not. So let me share this trick with you because that is what I do on this channel. I don't hoard information and you don't hold likes and subscription from me. So if you are here to subscribe to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and click the like button as well so this video can reach a wider audience. Remember to turn on your notification as well so you don't miss any of my unhoarded videos. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so in this video, I'll be showing you how to get your resume or your CV through the ATS. I'll be sharing with you tips and tricks, tools and strategies that you can use to make this happen. In this video, I shared with you why recruiters ghost you after a job application or after an interview. You should definitely watch it because this video is a sequel to that video. <laughs> I know I didn't post them at the same time, but yeah, you should watch it after this one. And if you also like to work with me, my WhatsApp link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Please, I think this is a good place to say this. I beg you in the name of God, if you don't have any serious business to discuss with me, I am saying this with all humility. Please don't use the link. Don't reach out to me. Don't reach out to me on WhatsApp. I have people reaching out to me and harassing me sexually and saying things that are not appropriate. When I started this channel, I told myself I was not going to post a WhatsApp link. I don't want to chat with anybody. If you have an important thing to say to me, send me email. Some people find it very hard to send email before you sit down and think of what to tell me. That spirit will leave you. But my subscribers, people with pure intentions, were complaining and asking for it. And I decided to add my WhatsApp link to all my videos for people with pure intentions and serious business to discuss. So please, if you don't have anything serious to discuss with me, please don't use the link. Don't send me a message. Thank you so much for watching my videos. We don't have to talk. Okay. Thank you. That being said, let's talk about ATS. So ATS means applicant tracking system. They are designed to identify specific keywords related to a job description. That's why I always hit on you going through the job description and getting keywords, making sure that you read through the job description, identify key terms, skills and qualifications mentioned in the job description. These are keywords you want to incorporate into your resume. Now let's talk about placement. It's not just about having keywords. It's not just about going through the job description and getting keywords from there. It's also about where to place them. You cannot just get the job description. You cannot just get the keywords and start placing them randomly. You have to ensure that relevant keywords are strategically integrated throughout your resume. Focus on key sections like your summary, your work experience, and your skills. By doing this, you're making it easier for the ATS to recognize your qualifications. The one effective strategy is to mirror the job description. Now, what does that mean? Use similar wordings or phrases to describe your experiences and skills. This not only aligns your resume to the employer's or recruiter's expectation, but also increases the likelihood of your application passing through the ATS screening. Now, let's talk about numbers. The ATS systems love quantifiable data. Wherever possible, include numbers and metrics to highlight your achievements. Instead of saying you improved sales, specify that you increased sales by the first six months. Whether your resume is going to a human being first or the ATS first, do it. Do it even if you're sure that it's going straight to a hiring manager. We love this as well. Recruiters love this. Show me some numbers. I get excited when I see numbers on people's resume because let's say you are a hiring manager and you have two resumes in front of you with the following write-ups the first one attend to customers drive sales daily answer to customers inquiry three bullet points okay now the second resume has the following write-up delivered exceptional customer service by attending to an average of 50 customers daily ensuring their needs were promptly addressed consistently met and exceeded daily sales goals driving a 20 percent increase in revenue over three months responded to customer inquiries with a 95 percent satisfaction rate you are a hiring manager which are you going for now let's talk resume format you have to you really have to let this stick i said it i think it was in this video or this video your resume is not for you you are not the consumer i am the consumer the recruiter your prospective employer is the consumer so let that stick first let it stay 
in your head first because i don't understand why you will want your resume to look colorful and beautiful when you are not in the fashion industry even the creative industry you don't have to overdo it with the lines with the icons with the shouty colors so that it will be fine you want it to first impression my first impression of your resume it's do you have the information i need is it easily accessible if it's someone like me do you have a consistent font what's your format like what's the structure of your resume are your details distorted <laughs> did you dot all your eyes and cross all your t's that's even after the eight years must have scanned your resume and be like okay this one is okay that's when the hiring manager will get to see all these things first you have to please the ats because this video is about ats avoid images avoid graphics use clear headings professional summary or summary work experience not professional experience not work history not my professional journey not my work journey not my career journey education not educational qualification not educational certification ah what there's ah god oh, there's this resume i'm revamping i'm trying to recall what she used there ah, and my laptop is off as you can see i'm filming with daylight we don't have light let me also show you tools you can use to scan your resume tools you can use to improve your resume in order for it to pass through the, the first tool we are going to be using is chat gpt this is a free tool you can always upgrade to chat gpt4 i am currently on the free plan all right just go to google and sign up if you've not been using chat gpt you don't know what it is it's an ai basically <laughs> so how can you use chat gpt to make sure that your resume get through the ats this is how we have a job we want to apply for yes let's say we want to apply for this virtual assistant role okay so all you need to do go down to the job description this are these are the responsibilities for the job requirements other qualities they are looking for and so on so what you're going to do is to come here and highlight basically copy the job description don't just paste it you have to give chat gpt the instruction okay remember that whatsoever you key in is what's going to give you okay garbage in garbage out <laughs> if you don't give him if you don't give i say it's him <laughs> if you don't give it specific instruction it's just going to generate whatever it likes for you remember this is an ai what we're going to do now is to say let's just say hi because we are polite what all right yeah i'm saying i'm applying for a virtual assistant position this is the job description analyze it and give me keywords i can include in my resume now let it do the work so voila these are different keywords you can incorporate in your resume in your work experience section in your skills section and in your professional summary boom all right so the next tool we are going to be using now is called scan job scan <laughs> i'm going to leave the link to this website in the description once you click the link in the description it will bring you here you click on new scan here you are going to impute your resume and the job description what this is going to do is to scan your resume and the job description side by side and tell you what's missing and what you should include. It's been a while I used this website. <laughs> I just thank God that I remembered the name. Okay, so right here, I'm going to paste my virtual assistant resume. That's it. And here I'm going to copy the job description that we have from LinkedIn going to post it here and then I'll click on scan now we wait yeah, these are keywords in my professional summary these are keywords in my work experiences that have been highlighted now let's move on to the report so for searchability I have three areas to improve let's check what those areas are uh, company information what company information I don't know what that means <laughs> okay address did not add my address to this resume my email is there my phone number is there professional summary is there education is there work experience is there job tied to okay date formatting is okay education is okay so basically it's my address i don't know what they mean by this okay so that's it for searchability for the ats 
Okay, you can see here they said ATS are computers that process your resume to understand your work history and relevance to the job description. These findings typically include your work history, job titles, relevant skills and education as well as contact information like your name, phone number and email address. All right, so let's take a look at the next one, which is the hard skills. They said four or five skills are missing. That's four or five skills from the job description are missing. Uh, that's administrative task. It's not there. Creative work is not there. Planning meetings is not there. Track record of success. What? <laughs> Maybe I'm supposed to add this to my work experience, my professional summary. Yes. All right. Let's move on to the soft skills. Seven of 11 uh, skills are missing. Analysis. Anticipate what? <laughs> okay <laughs> all right okay i see you okay so the next one is recruiter tips to areas to improve let's check their recommendation job level match yes it's a goal measurable results yes it's a goal now you see why i always hit on metrics numbers quantifying your achievements you can see it here is actually something this is paragraph length they say here some of your paragraphs are longer than 40 words consider shortening them for readability to bring attention to your skills and accomplishments okay thank you all right words to avoid the tone of your resume is generally positive and no common cliches and buzzwords were found of course <laughs> okay so web presence consider adding a web or linkedin url i did you didn't just say it word counts your resume is the current length formatting complete oh yes <laughs> i'm going to drop the link to this website in the description use it and let me know what you think let me know what your score was let me know the key areas you need to improve on your resume that's a friend if this video was helpful to you kindly hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're yet to thank you so much for watching let me know in the comment section where you're watching this video from yes that's important to me thank you so much i'll see you in the next one Bye.